The Supreme Court's decision to reject Texas's lawsuit really ends a desperate attempt to get legal issues before the court that had previously been rejected by state and federal judges. The import of the decision is, is that it really ends any possibility, uh, however remote, that uh, Trump and his supporters could use the courts to overturn the will of the voters in this election. The Electoral College, which meets Monday, is now on track to vote and provide Biden with a uh, electoral majority and his formal election as the next president. The last time the court got involved in a presidential election dispute was in 2000, when it ordered a halt to a recount that had been ordered in Florida um, and effectively settled the election in favor of George W. Bush. But that case involved just one state, Florida, where uh, fewer than 1,000 votes separated candidates George W. Bush and Al Gore. This is a very different situation uh, involving the votes of four states. Uh, that case in 2000 involved a recount. Uh, this year, two of the four states, Georgia and Wisconsin, have actually conducted recounts, which confirmed Biden's victory. So this looks nothing like what the court did 20 years ago. The court's decision to reject Texas's lawsuit uh, really ends uh, Trump's legal options, which were already quite narrow uh, to overturn the will of the voters and give himself a second term as president.